to touch an icing call against the Winnipeg Jets. And here we go. Newfound and Petit. And Gerard Gauthier, the linesman, got in there immediately. Now, Tenorti has gone to... Pagliannetti should get a third man in, Sam. Well, what about Tenorti? He went after Newfeld. I don't know. This uh, could be very confusing here. Now, first... T was right. He was with Newfeld. And Newfeld on, on Petit. Then Tenorti went for Newfeld. And Pagliannetti went for Tenorti. And it still hasn't settled down. As far as I'm concerned, this whole situation this first period stemmed from a missed call by the officials when Barry put his stick into the mouth of John O'Grodnick. But why should that carry over to this point? The, emotion, the emotions get going, Sam. There was a high stick in the mouth. And then and then the referee makes the call. Gordy Walker. Walker and Boschman. Boschman. And then the referee makes a bad call on Newfeld. So there's no question. Oh, here we go. Newfeld and Petit. They're still going at it. The other thing is... Meyershawn and Maloney. The Jets called up a lot of muscle for this game, and they've been playing very aggressive in the first period, and this is what they wanted, more aggressive play from their hockey club. Tenorti and Taglianetti still haven't settled down. Linesman Jerry Payton trying to get in there. Gerard Gauthier is down with Newfeld and Petit. Boschman still going at Walker. Now, Tenorti, while he's being held off, is trying to get it to uh, Boschman. Duguay and Carlisle together. This will just wear itself oh. out pretty soon. The players will start to tire. It's not a real pretty sight, is it? No, not at all. Taglianetti and Tenorti still going. And as it settled down, now Walker trying to get some leverage on Boschman. Now Tenorti blasting her way at Taglianetti. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, is, this is heavy. Oh, boy. Taglianetti, a tough man, has landed some big ones on Tenorti. Boschman is still wrestling with Walker. Ah, Lord. They got to get this official to break that up. Bateman's there. Now, here comes Goche. See a lot of misconducts here. A lot of people are going to get Now, Maloney and Byers, John. Well, Byers, John. This is just 220 absolutely pounds. Stupid. And I think this was absolutely, absolutely stupid and dirty. ridiculous. <laughs> not pretty at all. Uh, just hate it. I just hate it. What this does. To the I, I don't mind. Hockey. I don't mind one quick fight. Get it over with. But this goes on and on and on and on. It's just ridiculous. You're absolutely right. And the Jets simply wanted to play a more aggressive game. They're doing it here, and I hope. I just hope it's called properly by the official. I mean, you saw it the first shift when uh, Barry put a stick into the mouth of O'Gradnick. Hogarth is trying to separate Byerjohn and Maloney as Boschman was uh, escorted off the ice. And Byerjohn still wants to uh, extract something. Taglianetti and Tenorti. They have rested. And uh, they could break out at any minute now. Now they're too tired, Sam. They're waiting for the linesman to please get over there and break this thing up. Well, now that settles down. All right. Trying to figure out what the after effects will be. And there's the, the mess on the ice, the gloves, the sticks, the pads. Has it proven anything? No, not me, not to me. I didn't like it. It's a situation where the Jets have been criticized publicly by writers, by their own coaching staff. They played very passive. They wanted more aggressive play. Dan Maloney's seen it here. The race Third man. Oh man! This is, a, this is heavy. Oh boy! Eddie, a tough fan, has landed some big ones on Tenorti. Boschman is still wrestling with Walker. Ah, Lord! They got to get this official to break that up. Bateman's there now. Here comes Goche. See a lot of misconducts here. A lot of people are going to get involved. Maloney and Byers, John. Well, Byers, John. This is just. 220 pounds, and I think this was absolutely, absolutely stupid and sure ridiculous.